It's amazing. I mean, it's great. I got my son here. We're going to watch the movie and enjoy some popcorn and watch some dogs have fun and life and love with adults and, and dogs. It's great. <laughs> What's that? Why do you think this movie resonates so well with people? Well, I think, you know, a, a relationship with a love, love between animals and, and, and uh, their owners, it's a special thing, you know? And um, uh, I'm a dog lover and a cat lover myself, so it's, it's a special movie to me personally. And my son is a huge dog fan too, so we're just, it's, it's, I think resonates with a lot of people just because of that, you know? Yeah. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> I am excited to be here at the premiere. <laughs> it's always nice to see the film when it's done. We very seldom, you know, I don't want to wait for voodoo. <laughs> what do you think it is about this film that really resonates with people? Talk about its themes. I, I think it's, everyone has relationships with a pet of some sort, and especially dogs, you know, a man's best friend. And I think it's a great story about that relationship, literally man's best friend. And I love that this, this movie is all about a woman's relationship with her yes. dog. Exactly. And, it, and it's uh, several women and the generation and the way it moves through, the relationship moves through generations. It's, it's fantastic. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I'm definitely a dog person. Four. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely. Hi, I'm so excited. Um, Abby's right there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You know what? The dogs were actually really well behaved and they um they were great actors, I must say. So you didn't want to just like go off and pet them and just have fun with them? Um offset, offset, but right right when the director says cut, pet, pet. We we love to have fun with the with the dogs. And are you a pet person? Do you have pets? Um no, but I would like to get a dog. I'm a dog person, not a I'm sorry, cat lovers. <laughs> okay, so out of these four guys, which one's your favorite out of them? Four where? Uh, out of these four dog stars, which one is your favorite? Um, I wanted oh. to talk to you about working with your dog. Would it be Molly, the one that you did a lot of the Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. It feels amazing, all the hard work that everyone in this movie has put into it. It's just feel, it's amazing to see it all t to come together. And I have to ask you, you work with some incredible dogs. Yes. Was it challenging to keep a straight face while they're out there being so professional and working with these animals? Was it challenging? Or was uh, it fun? Yes, it was a little challenging when they did like wrecking my room, all those funny, really funny <laughs> Yeah. Because the dogs really had a lot of fun adventures while they were acting with you, right? Yeah. So how did you keep a straight face? <laughs> I have no idea. It was probably some miracle. <laughs> And what was your favorite part of working with the dog? I think one of my favorite parts is when me and Molly first meet each other. Um, she mo knocks me over and starts licking my face, giving me a car wash. <laughs> yes. Were you surprised by that? Even though you read the script, you were like, whoa, I didn't expect her to feel like that. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it surprised you? A little bit. Okay, perfect. Um, so, have you seen this movie? I have not seen it yet, but I'm really excited to see it. Don't you love that this movie is all about a girl and a dog rather than a boy and a girl? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I really enjoyed that because it shows that the life of an amazing, strong girl that doesn't actually know that she's strong yet, but she really is strong standing up to her mom and getting a dog in the first place. It's really amazing. And I learned a lot between a girl and her dog, right? It's a different kind of story. Would you say that a lot of girls can really connect with that? I think they can because all girls need that kind of love from either an animal or their parents. And she's not getting it from Gloria, so she gets it from Molly. And that's really amazing. And are you happy that this is a girl movie? Yes, I'm very happy. And do you think all families are going to enjoy watching this? I think all families are going to enjoy this because it's really a fa it's a family movie. We need a lot of those, especially during this time in the world. It's it's really an amazing time to come out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations.
Thank you. Yeah. All right. So how excited are you to be at the premiere? I'm so excited. I'm a huge animal lover, so this was very appropriate. <laughs> um, I have two dogs of my own. Vegetarian for six years. I just love them so much. <laughs> So I'm actually, uh, I'm playing on the piano in the movie, so I'm the feature soloist, and uh, I worked with the composer on it, and it's a beautiful, beautiful score, and it complements the movie, because you know you're going to need all the tissues you can get. <laughs> Perfect, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. I'm super excited to be at the premiere. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see it, and, and uh, run into some people that I know, and uh, see the reaction from everyone, for sure. I saw the movie, and I thought it was really interesting, because it's, it's got some really great themes, I mean, the idea that you're yeah. How do you think that theme really resonates with people? I think because people love animals so much and they're just these creatures that, you know, give off love and affection no matter what. And um, I think they can be such a staple in, in people's lives as they're being raised as kids, adults, or, or whatever age you are. It's, you know, people's best friend is, is, is the dog. So I think uh, it's really nice to think of it journeying through and always you know, returning home and finding its owner and, and coming back to it. It's, it's a very heartwarming feeling, I think. And do you have a favorite dog that you work with? I worked with this dog called Lamb Lamb, I think, um, that plays Molly in the film. And um, he's just so cute. It was still a puppy, and uh, so it wasn't always behaving as it should. And it was just funny to see its little attitude and personality when, you know, and it's just a little diva on set, so yeah, it was, it was good fun. Was Lam Lam the biggest diva on set? Definitely. Yes. Yes, by far. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, this is, I have never been to a premiere before. This is my first, so I am just thrilled. It's a dream come true, because we love this movie. And talk about how this is the continuation of the dog's purpose. Yeah, a lot of some people get confused about that. A dog's purpose at the end of the movie, the dog was still alive, and they're like, "What happens next? What happens next is a dog's journey." But this time, this time, a dog, the dog's purpose has changed because the because Ethan has asked a very important thing of Bailey, and it's to find CJ, a girl who's going to need help in her life, and help G CJ survive. I think we know whether you believe in that or not, and there's actually no way we can know because Tucker can't tell me if he's my other dog. But I think we know that once souls are joined in love, we're never apart. We will meet again somehow. I believe that too. And do you guys have a favorite dog? I mean, there's so many incredible dogs oh. in this movie. Oh, it's so... I, it, it, whatever I loved Odin. I loved Belle. Whatever dog I was wrestling with yeah. at the time, instead of working, that's the dog I loved the best at Lemmy. that moment. They're all oh, so yeah. good. They're all so good. I am so excited to be at the Dog's Journey premiere. Oh, my gosh. It's uh, been a long time in the making, but uh, here we are. It's a beautiful night in California. Now, I have to tell you, most people say, don't ever work with kids or dogs, and you did it double duty. I did. Was it a curse? Oh, no, I love working with dogs. I say bring it. More kids, more dogs. Sign me up. <laughs> and I just love that the, the movie brought tears to my eyes a number of times, and there's something about that theme of when a dog passes, then it's going to find you again. What do you think it is about that really, that really resonates with you? Well, I think what really resonates, I think, with most people, because they are dog lovers, is that, you know, here's this innocent little dog, and you're trying to think, well, what is he thinking, or what is she thinking, and you're hoping, and you're thinking for them, you know, hoping he's saying this, or he's saying that, and you know it's unconditional love, and then that dog needs you to take care of him and nurture him, and I think that's what's, what's so beautiful about a dog-human relationship. And this movie has so many great themes that are really going to bring people out. What do you think is going to speak to people most? Wow, I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope they find this movie hopeful and uh, they walk away from this movie feeling good because I think it's a feel-good movie. Okay, I just want you to connect this movie to a dog's purpose. Okay. Continuation. Would you mind doing that? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, A Dog's Purpose was the first uh, first mo movie that uh, directed by Les Lassa Hallstrom, which did a wonderful job and is a beautiful, beautiful movie. So we tried to honor a lot of um, what they did in that movie by going back to the farm and um, and then but continuing the story with just one 
through in line with one character, CJ. And uh, we went to Chicago, we went to Pennsylvania, we went to New York, so that was really fun. And I love that it's a movie about a girl and her dog. Right? Yes, I love that too, yes. Because girls have dogs too, and it's so nice, uh, you know, it really hasn't been done before, you know, a girl and her dog. And, um, and in our case, it was really important because CJ was kind of, you know, she had one friend, but she was kind of going off course, and and she didn't have the best role model for a mother, and um, but she always had her dog, and that was her best friend. I'm very excited to be here. There's um, Dennis Quaid's dog Peaches is running around free, so that's heightening everything for me as well. Um, I think everybody can uh, relate to the kind of desire for unconditional love, um, especially from a dog, the kind of love that a dog can give. And I think everybody secretly wants to believe that their dog, when they move on, maybe doesn't just go into the void and they can maybe come back in different forms. And so I think maybe partly wishful thinking, but also maybe there's some truth to it. Yeah. There's Peaches, sorry. Uh, so, um, so the, one of the reasons that I really wanted to do the film was because it was a, a woman and her dog rather than you know, we've seen the story of a, a boy and his dog a hundred times, and I just thought it was strange that it hadn't been done before. Um, and so I really like that about this this movie. Can you talk a little bit about how this is a continuation from a dog's purpose going into a dog's journey? Thing? Yes. So um, this movie is the continuation from a dog's purpose uh, now into. Oh, 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 oh dear! Oh dear! All right. Oh, you're all okay. Everyone's all right. I knew Peaches. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Peaches causing trouble. Um, so this is a continuation from uh, of a dog's of the movie A Dog's Purpose. Um, this time, uh, the dog who finds himself being reincarnated, Bailey, um, has found himself with another person who he sort of feels he needs to look after throughout their life, um, and that's CJ. Um, she's born to not the most supportive parental um, support network, and uh, he becomes her kind of rock throughout her life. And what do you think it is about this movie that's great for the entire family to see? Um, I really think that there is kind of like something for everyone. I know that sounds really cheesy to say, but there is something for everyone. It's not just about kind of the dogs, even though they are like the lead characters. Um, there's a lot of human stories that I think lots of people will be able to uh, relate to, um, you know themes of addiction and friendship and love and heartbreak and kind of things that a lot of people are going to be able to find something to relate to. And you got to work with a number of dogs on this set. Do you have a favorite dog or a favorite dog character? I did. I like feel really bad saying my favorite. Like I loved them all in their own way. And technically they're all kind of Bailey in a different uh, body. But if I had to pick a favorite, I think my two would be Gary and Phil. And they played, uh, so Gary played Duke, the big Irish wolfhound, and uh, Phil played Big Dog. And Phil actually had only eight days training, and I thought he uh, gave one of the standout dog performances. So, yeah, very impressive. To be a part of it? To be at the premiere of the movie. Oh, I mean, very excited to, to, uh, to be here. I mean, I loved working on this film. It was it was just a, you know, a labor of love for with everyone involved. Tennis and I worked out together as played a pretend husband and wife at a film 15 years ago in good company. So this was just, you know, we have a natural ease with each other and that was great. And to age, you know, the, our characters age in this film. And to be around all the dogs, oh my God, that was just a special pleasure. I'm a dog lover, dog owner. Um, and, uh, you know, between takes, you know, what's more fun than going hanging out with a bunch of fun dogs, right? We did, we did. Yes, I think Emma is here. Well, Emma and a Abby grown up, and and Cat, who's like the grown up of all of. I, I think even little toddler Emma is here. You know, the, so I'm excited to see everybody. Gail Mancuso, just like I'm, I'm probably president of the Gail Mancuso fan club, who did a beautiful job directing this film. 
and um, yeah, I mean, I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. And you are in the end of the last one, the Dogs River. Can you talk about how it's a continuation of Dogs River? <laughs> well, I was not in the first one. I was not in a dog's purpose, but I was asked. I was fortunate to be asked to be uh, involved in this one. And um, it's a continuation in that it goes. I mean, I guess in that that the first film, it was you know a boy and his dog, the boy being Ethan and played by Dennis. Uh, well, when he grows up, of course. And this is like. Um, the generational, it's like, you know, our granddaughter, that's the purpose of Bailey is to look out for our granddaughter as she, you know, um, matures and becomes a young adult and, and, and gets a family of her own and uh, and, and that's four dogs that, that, that gets incarnated in his, uh, the purpose of, 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 of you know, making sure CJ is okay. You know, I think because um, I, I, our dogs are, they, they just have such a deep well of like love. We have to, they give us nothing but an unconditional love and joy and, ri and enrich our lives in, in, in measurable ways. And, you know, I, I think that, you know, a, whether it's a, a, a pet or air, if it's a, a person that was like a, a beloved person that was in our life, a parent or a child or, a, you know, a, a good friend or something, a part of them always stays with that us, you know. Uh, so some, our, their souls are always connected to ours. So whether or not you believe in reincarnation or I, I think it doesn't even matter. It's just because that you're always, the, you know, souls are connected and, 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 and we all are connected in some way. And we're just so excited when you heard that the last was I really being like uh, overly demonstrative in the screening? I was like, yeah, this is definitely like you, you know, girl power, women power, female power, and, and with Gail, who's like right to my right here, you know, having her in charge, I think made a huge difference. And, and, and she was like the first person who called me when you know my deal was done, and, so, and always encouraged me to share my ideas or thoughts about the character. And, and she, I think, her, like her presence really made it a real strong female uh, film. Yeah, I'm really glad to see it. I brought my kids, and they already saw it in a screening room. And my uh, boy, have twins, boy and girl, third of the way to the movie, unsolicited, he goes, I love this movie. So that was the best review you could possibly get from an 11 year old boy. Congratulations. About what? How this is a continuation from a dog's Well, in the first movie was uh, really about individuals and their relationships with dogs. It was the same dog through really. So you had, you know, me as a boy with the dog, me as an old man with a dog, you had a, a lady looking for love, lonely lady looking for love with a dog, and then you had the police officer with his canine with a dog. And in this, now it's more about the pack. It's more about the family, about where the dog fits in uh, with the family. And he, now he's going to go on and take care of my granddaughter, Bailey, is, in different forms. And this is such a touching theme of the dog, like being reincarnated to take care of the purpose. Yeah. What do you think, why do you think that theme resonates so well with people? Just the reincarnation idea. Well, we all like the idea of, of a, an afterlife whatever that might be and uh, you know that's a it's nice to have someone watching over you guardian angels which I have a few up there I know and uh, it's just a beautiful story you know it's a continuation of the, of a, the very ancient relationship between dog and man and I know that your 11 year old son gave you a rave review why do you think yeah. families should see this movie it's so because it feels good it makes you feel really good to see it it's a great story and, you know, it's not like Old Yeller where, boy, that was tough on me as a kid. <laughs> Old Yeller died at the end, and that was, I hate to be a spoiler for that. But uh, this, you know, uh, the dog keeps coming back. And that's, it's, you know, it goes right to the puppy part.